Today on DIY Solar Power of the Papa, I want to talk to you about the two different grow watt, low frequency off grid inverters that we have. We had this 12,000 watt, 12 kilowatt first, and we just purchased the 6 kilowatt. Now, when we tried to start up the uh, main air conditioners, three and a half ton and four ton, with the 12 kilowatt, we were able to do that with just those AGM batteries. And we were able to start up the four ton, and while the four ton was running, able to start up the three ton as well. So originally, we wanted to get the six kilowatt because it says it could start a four ton AC. So we got it, did everything the same, connected the same battery bank and everything and no matter what we did we could not get the three and a half ton uh heat pump to start up the problem is we have 72 to 75 amps the current in rush to start that compressor in the heat pump for the whole house air conditioner and this is just not able to do it we had one array with 16 250 watt panels another array with 14 250 watt panels and together with those that was like around 7,000 watts and this was 6,000 watt we still could not get it to start up it was a fault code every single time so what we're going to do is we ordered a soft start that for a 72 to 75 amp inrush current to start it up, we'll drop it down to 30 to 34 amps of inrush current. And then while it's running, we'll drop it down and keep that lower. So I checked into these things and I've got one on its way. Supposedly it's supposed to save you money just if you were to hook it up to your air conditioner and not do solar at all because you're going to use 60 to 70 percent less current starting your air conditioner and then once it's running you're going to use a lot less current so we'll find out in a couple of days when we get it but right now we're not able to quite be able to start that and just wanted to let you know now the some things about these two inverters this 12 kilowatt weighs about 186 pounds this one weighs i think it's around 109 or 119 pounds so big difference in the weight and being able to get that thing up on the wall so it um they both are really nice stable inverters when I had arrays connected to this MPP and also the 6,500 watt MPP down there, when I had arrays connected to that, it would fault code and shut it down because it was either too much voltage or too much amps. Neither one of these, all I did was take take the um, solar panel cables off of that and put it on that, never had any fault codes. So it's much more stable than the MPPs. Now the MPPs are nice for these inverters, for the uh, heat pumps, but when it comes to starting up um, a three and a half ton or four ton heat pump, whole house heat pump, they just don't have the coils in there to be able to take that surge. So we're going to take, like I said, and we're going to get that soft start. And someone's also suggested to me to get a hold of a grow watt, 5,000 watt transformer and try using that to absorb some of that start. So we're going to get a hold of one of those as well, and we're going to try the two 
and see which one is better. Now, the one thing I like about the soft start is versus the transformer is the soft start supposed to use 60 to 70 percent less surge when it starts up the motors in the heat pump and it's supposed to run less current while it's running so that means i can run my main acs longer and if i get a big enough battery bank i might be able to run them overnight and not have to worry about using these heat pumps so because they'll be using from what i saw on some of the videos and reviews they're saying it's using a pretty close to 60 to 70 percent less so if i'm not having to use all that battery to start these things up and it's only using like 30 amps maybe 34 instead of 72 to 75 it's gonna make a huge difference so this one like i said no problem if you have enough panels on this you can run a three and a half and a four ton at the same time start one up and then a minute later start the other one up um, but i'll tell you on that four ton that i have the inrush current is like 109 amps considerably more than a three and a half ton so i just wanted to give you a little idea of the difference between the two i was really disappointed that the six kilowatt by itself couldn't start it up but you know it is what it is so i hope you enjoy the video please like share subscribe i hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day and as soon as we get that soft start we'll put that on try it out and let you know how it works and then as soon as we get a hold of a transformer we'll put that on fire it up and see how that works we'll see you soon have a blessed day